Well, everybody, it's February 13th, or February 23rd, 4.13. Sorry about that. I just want to share something with you guys. This is about some of the wolves out there, you guys. Listen, we're in the final end days, and the Lord does say, if your enemies are thirsty, or if they're hungry, get them something to eat if you're able to. Get them something to drink. These people here... They've been robbing from people. They've been buying Lear jets, living it up, lavish lifestyles. Listen to this. You couldn't have done that on an airliner. No, sir. No way. Stand up and say, what'd you say, Lord? I didn't know how to handle that. I went, what? He said, you're going to let your fate stagnate? And when he said that, that shocked me. I went, whoa, wait. I literally unbuckled my seatbelt, my plane. I stood up. My pilots looked right and said, do you need something? I said, no, no, I'm talking to God right now. And he, just, <laughs> and he went back to flying. I said, Lord, I don't think I was letting my faith stagnate. He said, so this is all I could ever do. I said, you want, you, you're you trying to tell me something. He said, go to the book of Amos. So if you're at the book of Amos, I want to read may, the scripture. May I right interrupt now. you there yes, for sir. a second? Mm -hmm. You couldn't have done that on an airliner. No, sir. No way. Stand up and say, what'd you say, Lord? No. Okay, no, yeah. And the guy sitting over there saying, what the hell does he think he's doing? He <laughs> now, listen to what he thinks about people that are all on sitting on planes. Do you that? can't do that. No, no. That, this, this is so important. You can't no. manage that today. Right. The, this dope-filled world. Right. And get in, an air, get in a long tube with a bunch of demons. Right. That's exactly. You hear that? That's what he's saying, basically, what he thinks about people on planes. And it, it's deadly. And, and it works on you hard. It really does. So I, anyway, I, I wanted to make that clear so the devil can't lie to you and say, see there, them preachers spending all that money, there's, there's fat cats riding around. No, we're not. We're in business. Do we're not spared unless the word of the Lord comes and strengthens us. Unless from this pulpit and every pulpit around the world, there's a pure word. That John Gray and Avender Gray are going to be your pastors. And I really believe that John and Avender have always been anointed. Now listen to what she says. They're going to do damage to God's kingdom. And then he sits there with his hands in his pockets. But the anointing that is going to fall on them now that they're senior pastors is going to do amazing damage to the kingdom of God. So I'm excited about that. And I... Is going to do amazing damage to the kingdom of God. Into the absence of Jesus, the one without vengeance in his heart. It's horrible, you guys. Yes, now, this, is, I'm a... this is Donald Trump's spiritual advisor, Paula White. He's God. the first fruit. You're the, he's the first fruit. He's the first born of many. Okay. Jesus is not the only begotten on. Son of God. He there you go. Thorn. The Bible says Jesus is the only begotten Son, and they're saying no. Or a symbol of debt in Hebrew, of mm -hmm. debt, right. poverty, and lack. Come on, and so here they come. Jesus says, pick up your cross and follow me. With Jesus, they see the symbol of death, poverty, and lack. They mocking Jesus. They build a crown out of these thorn bushes. They take that crown and press it into the brow of Jesus. Now God said to Adam, "By the sweat of your brow, every no matter how hard you work, no matter how hard you sweat, you're never going to get ahead because I'm not Jehovah Jireh anymore." But here comes Jesus. And they take that that curse of poverty and lack, press it into the brow of Jesus. We're cursed by the sweat of Adam's brow. Those thorns pierced the brow of our Savior. And the curse of poverty has been broken. And we're reconnected to Jehovah, our, our Jireh, our provider, by the blood of Jesus Christ. See, now this is so vital here, Pastor Lay. I, I can go forever and we're going to have to take a break and come right back. But that's why it says he became poor that you might become come rich. On. Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. I know that after my departure, fierce wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock. And from among your own selves will arise men speaking twisted things to draw away the disciples after them. 
tenacious. They won't give up. They get a hold of something that they bring into the church. They rise up within the church. But he said, they're wolves that are coming. And they're not going to spare the flock. They're going to be self-seeking. They're going to make merchandise out of you. Beloved, Paul the Apostle is God. He's not here. But the wolves and the perverse teachers have come. These wolves have invaded the house of God. I see these wolves all over the world. I see these teachers of perversity, of error in the church of Jesus Christ. It's splitting churches. It's everywhere, you guys. These are some of the signs these spirits do. themselves swift destruction. And many will follow their sensuality, and because of them, the way of truth will be blasphemed. And in their See, those are spirits. They, they don't even know it anymore. Words. Their condemnation from long ago is not idle, and their destruction is not asleep. For if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but cast them into hell and committed them to chains of gloomy darkness to be kept until the judgment, if he did not spare the ancient world, but... You guys, I, I really don't want to go through this the whole time, because it's... That, all that's in me, that we must not forget. See, now, here's Never David forget. Wilkerson going through poverty God's areas. Against. Trying to help people. That's David Wilkerson going through there. In and, his house. and he didn't own a Learjet or anything. He would fly on planes with other people. Okay. Basically, you guys, you know, it's it's really sad to see where it's came to. But the Bible warned about this. <laughs> and uh, he warned about riches, too. You know, if you have much, much is required from you. And he said, don't envy the wealthy because... Uh, you know, we read scripture where it says, Go ye now and howl, you rich men. You have, um, you've uh, reaped down, you know, the people. You've, the, those that labored your wealth and stuff, and they, and they didn't speak up. They, you know, basically they made a lot of wealth and, you know, your corporations, everything. This place is filthy. It's horrible. The church has got changed into a corporation. Some of these churches got multiple churches. You know, they're opening up multiple churches. <laughs> it would have been better had they stayed smaller and then just helped around and, you know, and even did things like this. <clears throat> but anyhow, everything's taking place according to how it's supposed to. Um, yeah, I mean, we could sit there and go over it. It's a 40-minute video. It basically, it shows how corrupt it is, you know. Very corrupt. And it does say that there's nothing hidden that won't be revealed. The Lord's revealing all these things now. So, you know, he's getting ready to um, pour out the plagues on it. You know, that's why he says, come out of her, my people, that you receive not of their plagues. And uh, we try warning as many people as we can to come out, repent, call on Christ, pick up their cross, follow Christ. Um, don't follow this. This place is over. It's finished here. This place is, it's no more. It's over. This is where you want to be separate from the world now. He's opened many of our eyes to where we can see. The world will blind you. It'll definitely blind you. And, uh, but you can see where, you know, David Wilkerson was warning about this, you know, before he passed away. He, how he's seen it in the churches. I've seen it in the church. You know, literally, you can see it. It's a spirit that's in people. And uh, one was a very powerful pastor, man, that I heard him. They had a summer camp going on, and this woman was ahead of the children's school. And right in the middle of the church, she's dressed up like Elton John glasses and stuff, saying, you know, summer camp, dressed up looking like fish. Going, we're gonna. And she pointed to all the people in the pastures, in the pews, and she goes, "We're gonna teach all your children how to salute that flag." You know, well, what would you want your children learning about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Or would you want them to learn how to salute a flag that's now promoting homosexuality, 
that's now teaching children that it's okay to be what they want to be. You know, this place is so upside down. Um, people don't can't even see it. They got to come out of this world, let it go. It's judgments upon it, and uh, very few people can see what's about to happen here. I think we're at the very end right now, you guys. I think we're at the end now where I don't think there's much more to even say anymore at this point. You know, I mean, it's not too difficult to see. Everything's right on the edge. I told you that the, uh, in Paris, the Arch of Triumph, that's not going to stop until the military marches through there. You know, and what I'd be watching for is the 17th week coming up. I think they're right now they're around the 13th. Maybe the 14th. They said they're expecting something around the 17th weekend. You know, it's been going on for quite some time. But uh, it's just spreading. You know, and it's not about a wall, building a wall here. There's a lot more to it than that. Brother to death. And the father... Son. Now you see here, Over this is two, two weeks, weeks before this national emergency declaration by the president. In other words, when you look at this, it was already in the works, it was already in the making, it was already in the plans. What we are seeing, what you are seeing here, ladies and gentlemen, these vehicles, these armored vehicles, are being shipped over all across America as a preparation for something much bigger. Mainstream media was not talking about this. There is one news Armory. report which did ultimately talk about this, but they only talked about the Los Angeles one in which a helicopter lands in the middle of the street in the middle of the night, and only because it sparked a conversation on social media and it, and it was trending and everybody was talking about it. But... That's what I'm saying, you guys. There's, there's more going on. You know, the Word of God tells us clearly what's going on. We're right at the edge of all this getting ready to uh, start falling apart. You know, and like I told you, what I, what I was shown, I was shown uh, there's going to be civil unrest here. About the time of the rapture, when people leave here. They're going to be, uh, there's going to be a lot of chaos going on here. There's, things are going to be torn apart. People shooting at one another. Um, it's going to be just total violence everywhere, right here in America. People can't imagine that, but it's it's coming. This is what they're doing. They're, they're breaking this thing down. They're, they've been hiding what's really out there. See, some of us are waking up. And they know what's coming on this earth. Um, we know according to the word of God, they're going to be building their military up to fight against his coming. We know this. Okay? This is the devil. The devil is running this here. You know, he's totally running it here. That's why we see the news media the way it is. Um, they're not discussing or talking about the things that we see and know. Um, we see how Hollywood is, just right out in the open. Remember, it says the wicked will continue to do wicked and not understand. See, they've already made a pact with the devil. And the devil's got them all blinded, all of them. And they have a different spirit in them. Literally a spirit that's in them right now. I've seen that too. As we get ready to leave, a lot of these people that you think are kind of normal right now, some of them are actually... Um, being hateful or mean towards their husbands or wives or children. It's a lot of where Jesus said there's going to be division, a separation. This is a harvest, okay? Um, I see as we get ready to leave, people that aren't even, you know, one way or the other saying nothing, they're all going to change, all of them. Let me give you a good example. If they're not for Christ, Jesus Christ, then they're anti-Christ. There's no, there's no, uh, you know, other ground. 
you're either in the spirit with Christ or there's something else in you, you know, and it's sleeping, but it's going to awaken. It's going to awaken as people get ready to leave. You know, you either have the love of Christ in you or you've got something else in you. And these things are in just about everybody. Even now, there are many antichrists. You know, like I said, there's no neutral ground. You're either one or the other. You can't be, you know, you can't do both. You know, you have to really know the time that you're in. You have to really know, you know, I think that's where a lot of the uh, the lanterns that aren't lit, that don't really see, that aren't burning right, they're still of the world. They want to be of both, but they can't be. You know, that's why you have to really let go of the world. I had a dream where I seen as we were leaving bungee cords, people that were still attached to the world. You know, we got scripture that says, come out of her, my people, lest you suffer the plagues that are about to be poured out on it. You can't be of the world too, you guys. I don't want to make this a long video. I'm just trying to make a point here. And, uh, you know, it's, it's easy to see. You know, we're either brothers and sisters in Christ and we know what time it is and you're not, you know, still hang on on to this because this is over. You know, it's not a question of if, but when. And if you look at everything where it is right now, there's not much time. That's why Jesus said to watch. We clearly see it. We've seen all the things in the sky. We've seen all the, um, everything. It's all there to see. We see it all. We're not going to be distracted or run after anything or anybody anywhere because we we know Christ. He's all power, all glory. He can get us wherever we are, you know. Many people are going to be led astray, deceived, because they, they, it says, cursed are those who make flesh their arm. Okay, I just got to showing you Paul White, what she was doing. That's Donald Trump's spiritual advisor. Okay, Donald Trump even said the calm before the storm, and they said, what do you mean by that? You'll see. Okay, they know exactly what they're doing. Okay, and just like Obama, these people, you don't get in all these high places. You don't own gambling casinos where the sheep go in and lose everything they've got. You know, that's not a God-fearing man. You know, it's just not. Anybody that's a God-fearing man would not own a casino. You know, and then, you know, according to their wealth, um, that's why you don't envy them, what they have. The more you have, the more that's expected of you. You know, David Wilkerson, he wrote a book, The Switchblade, and every dime he made went to helping the poor. He didn't buy a big home mansion, throw it towards a Learjet or a fine car, none of that, you know. And he warned about these things. But anyhow, you guys, um, let's be ready, man. They got everything. It's, it's all been moved in place. You know, we see everything. The stage is set. You know, the stage is set. And it's getting ready to happen. Okay, so let us be strong in the Lord. <laughs> yeah, I still got like a little chest cold, head cold. It moved into my chest a little bit, but... It's a virus. It's working its way through. Got a little medicine. Dries me out. Um, but let us just keep being strong in the Lord, okay? Trust in the Lord. Don't be, you know, let this place go. This place is over. It's finished. You don't want to be a part of it no more. Okay? Let it go. God bless you guys. I love you all. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.